<laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video, and today we're going to continue on with our story, and well, I think we're going to do the uncle mission right after we get ourselves a um, shave. Some. Let's get you some sleep. Cause it kind of looks like you need some sleep, Mr. Morgan. It does. It does look like you need some sleep, Mr. Morgan. Just for the way you are, are acting. Oh, that's cute. Over here, an uncle. Hey, Arthur. Sir Dipshman Horse. I want to do the uncle mission first before I fuck you, fuck around with you, Javier. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <sighs> <laughs> you gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take mm -hmm. them a robin. And you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment to civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Yeah, uh, the I don't... Here, then take a left. Yeah, I don't trust yep. some ladies whatsoever. Oh, 
Ah, this is all right. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? Lumbago. You can do it, Arthur. Whoa, whoa. Easy. Easy. You're okay. Whoa, now, easy. Let's cut him. Okay, boy. Come on. Lumbago, really? He... <laughs> okay, I guess it's Lumbago. I guess. I guess it is Lumbago for all. I see. Here. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go! To Valentine! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse both lizard. Blizzards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Smell those sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. This looks like a decent little town. Other people, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. Let's see what we got here. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stable. I never thought I'd see the light. Nothing new about that. All right. Here we are, just like I said. The cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. I imagine Paris and Valley. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Oh. It got so, some. What do you need? A hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Let me know if you have any questions, fellers. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. You not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe.
Bread roll. Canned peaches, baked beans. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. There we go. Get two cans of it. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. Some bait. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellers. Why is the counter guy here? Please. That's a horse revivor. A classic oat cake. Put some gun oil so we can oil our gun. motion for this oh here's to your good health sir <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain absolutely it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Yeah, sure you did. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out there in New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly? You can go kiss a damn snow. Fight off me. Get off of me. I've been looking to... Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You want to find out? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. What was that all about? Someone I used to know. Uncle! Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Nope. Heard the damn government is taking people from their homes. 
messing with their minds and turning them on their own. Can I help you, sir? I, d I do all I can manage. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your... I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk fella, mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Well, anyway... No truck. Pull now, please. Get off of me! I'm getting what I paid for. friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid for nothing. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing... Nothing to worry about. Just me and... But... Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Oh, good God. Hey, Just borrowing it. You stay away from me. Get back here, right now. Oh, no. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. My hands are slipping. Eh, well, All right. Then. Come on. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. He's gonna fuck us over, I can yes. tell already. Well, you ain't dead. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see... 
I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? Mm -hmm. I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. Ah. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this here old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. Sorry, Jimmy Brooks. Sorry, but he was gonna screw us over in the long run. Yep. Easy now. Do the um, <clears throat> this other mission that's in Valentine as What's well. The matter with you? Hey, my horse! Am I glad to see you? Look out! Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Appreciate it. I made it right with you, I swear. Looks like you! Uh, it's good! Next time, good boy. There. You might have just saved my. happen in this series. I'll guarantee you that. I wanted to do this mission over here, but apparently not.
I know we can do the Javier mission, but I don't want to really want to do the Javier mission. <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here, come over here. I want you to meet our oh, friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just the toughest Teak Mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey. hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our answer. <laughs> <laughs> Damn! Playing with him, Arthur. Hey, come on, stop, stop. stop! Stop! Please, please, I beg you, stop! Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Sir? Sir, you all right? Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. 
And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! <laughs> well, then we're dead men for sure! There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's of you course. they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. <sighs> Now what are we going to get into? I just want to get a drink. Harsh. Well, new what marksman in town. Welcome. Oh, wait. You're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfield? <sighs> yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? It just ain't no way to fine-tuning your gun, you know? I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. I forgot I had this thing. Yeah, it's beautiful condition. Keep it up. Clean that. Bet that piece could use a personal touch now that you've had it for some time. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Why don't we enhance your gun? See how much more it can do. I bet this will shoot better with some new sights. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. Well, it doesn't hurt to stock up on ammo. You never know. Hank told me a man of the clergy joined a poker game down at Flat Neck Station. So drunk, he could hardly play. Let's see what's in the catalog. Increase capacity. Holster. That's uh, not holster upgrade. A holster upgrade. Gun oil. Now Thank this you, will sir. be fun. Thanks for your assistance. Hey. Move. Easy. Ain't nobody got a heart. 
in the saloon. I got a hey, bad, walk right. bad hankering. Come on, sir. Try to remember. What really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in 76? Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's Who's history. your friend there? Ha! Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon I... right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I'd prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. OK. Then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters, legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Calloway. Any of them get uppity, shoot them. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some... Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him. It does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here or some other flop house. Hmm. Wow. Like a hole in the head. I'll read that in post. I think we're gonna end this video right here, and I think we'll get another video maybe recorded yet today, and then we'll post these sometime very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, please leave a like. If you guys want to see more Red Dead Redemption 2 or any other video, please think about subscribing and if you want to join my discord server it'll link will be in the description or our 5m roleplay discord server will be in the description as well thank you guys so much for watching have an awesome rest of your guys' day